welcome back to Farming Simulator and a preview of an upcoming mod pack put together by me. These are the improvised animal sheds. I've actually built a little tiny yard on the plot that I have playing on on Maple just to put them in a bit of, you know, in a bit bit of a farm. We have a cow shed, which is the one in front of me. We have a sheep shed over there behind the John Deere. And then behind this one, we have a pig pen. Um, they're all quite small. I'll run through each one um, and show you some of the cool, unique features. So let's just have a quick look in the build menu first at the cost. So £25,000 cow pasture holds, or cow pen holds 15 um, sheep pen 25,000 holds 25 sheep um, and 25 sheep 25 pigs duh and then the pig pen holds 25 pigs again 25,000 pounds or dollars or euros so let's have a look at the cow shed first so let's take a look at the cow shed um, we'll cover some of the basics first. So animal trigger just here. It holds 15 cows. There we go. Your milk trigger is just here. There is no slurry trigger because there's no way that slurry would be collected. Um, food trigger is just here. Um, the pen will hold, so it holds 15 cows. Tr food trough holds 11,250 litres of food. You can store 10,000 litres of milk. And this shed does take straw and uses 11,000 litres of straw to fill it. So there is no slurry. Um, so let's have a look at some of the other features. So you can open this gate. Um, and then if we jump in to the Kubota um, and grab a bale of straw. Like so. Very skillfully done there. Very skillfully done. Um, so if we take this in to the shed. Um, there is a bale trigger inside the shed for the straw. Um, so if I put that down about here, there we go. The cows have a nice bed of straw. Watering is automatic in all of these, so you don't need to worry about putting water in. Um, if you want to blow bales into the shed, um, I just realized I've put this in kind of a bad spot to show this off, but there is a trigger for that as well. Um, so if you drive up here, you can blow straw in as well. Um, so that's that shown off. Um, we'll quickly give the cows some feed. I have the, the Goville DLC installed, so have a couple of bales of TMR here make it a bit quicker so we uh, let them get some feed uh, we'll close the gate up um, and if I then sleep until the morning we can show off the main feature of this mod pack um, so this is something that I've wanted to have in game for a long time. That is something that was part of FS19 and is not part of FS22. And if you see under the cows now, the manure has spawned inside the shed. Um, so to get the manure out of the shed, you do need to take something inside and take it out with a bucket. Um, there is no trigger, so you can't back a trailer in and hit R to take it out. You need to do it this way. It will support, um, let me just double check that. Yes, it will support if you put down a manure pit extension, that should work. Um, but that is not the intent. You have to go and muck out your cows. 
Um, so if we just have a quick look, I've obviously been talking for far too long. Have a quick look. So you'll see you've got milk being generated, straw there and feed. Um, there is no water bar because the watering is automatic and you get your milk from here. So that's the cows done. Let's take a look at the pig pen. So over at the pig pen, it is the same shed, but just set up to house pigs. There are some differences. You will notice there are grates in the floor here. Um, that is so we can collect slurry from the pigs. Um, that is basically, I did not want to have slurry um, for the pigs, but I found that I could not get the mod to work the way I wanted to without having slurry. So there are slats here for the slurry to run into, and there is a small capacity of 20,000 liters of slurry. Um, and the trigger for pumping that out is here. So, you know, kind of imagine, because it was beyond my modding talents, that you are chucking the hose from your slurry tanker into a gap in the slatted floor for the slurry. So the slurry trigger is there. Um, as with the cows, there is a bale trigger and you can blow straw in. So I am going to cheat a little bit just to demonstrate this a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, you can take a bale of straw in and the pigs will be bedded up. The capacity for straw for the pigs is only 8,000 liters. So they haven't taken all of that bale. Um, so it's liquid manure capacity is 20,000 liters and food capacity is 8,000 liters. The feed trigger is here. It will work with a trailer or it will work with pallets of pig food. So let me just grab a pallet of or a big bag thing of pig food and we'll just put some in um, and then I can show you the uh, manure. Because I guess that, that's the main feature of this pack is that for the cows and the pigs, the manure spawns in the shed and to get it out, you need to go in with a bucket and muck the animals out. So that's that done. So if we now skip ahead again a day, we will see that the manure has spawned and you'll also see then that we've got some liquid manure as well. So for fans of Maze Plus, um, I guess you're going to be re have to be really on top of you mucking out because you're going to get a lot of manure very quickly. Um, but yep, there we go. There is the manure. So that's where the manure heap is. Um, again, we can just very quickly get a bit of daylight on the situation but we can very quickly demonstrate just mucking out this one and then I'll quickly show you the sheep pen there is nothing special about the sheep pen I just wanted it as part of the pack um, because it felt like there should be one um, if there is interest and if you know if this mod proves to be popular I am kind of keen to expand it to maybe have horses um, so maybe do a shed that can have horses in it um, and more options for the uh, the pigs and the cows in particular um, and then if we look here you'll see we've got some slurry now again no water bar because the uh, water is automatic and yeah, if you back a trailer in a slurry tanker into here that's where the slurry trigger is um, and the gates are animated. Uh, again, for fans of things like Maze Plus, obviously there is no grazing because the animals are inside. Um, so the the idea with this pack is that you know housing animals like this is you know, pretty common in certainly in I suspect all around the world. But, you know, in the UK, if you need to get your cows in a shed for the winter, you'll make sure there's a gate across. We'll give them a feed trough and a water trough and crack on. Um, the pigs, I had to do something slightly different with the slurry, obviously, but go with me on that one. Um, so this is pretty much a standard sheep pen. Um, so it holds 25 sheep. We'll just buy some so you can see. Um, 
feed trigger is inside. Um, so you'll need to bring feed in to feed them. They need grass, not hay. The, the straw bed in here is fake. Um, you seem to have escaped. Oh well. Um, I guess if I catch that in another before it passes testing, that'll be fixed. If not, it'll be fixed in an update. But yeah, so the straw bedding is fake in here. You cannot give the sheep straw. They just need food um, and the wool pallets will spawn over here. We just speed up time a little bit. There we go. Wool pallets spawn here. And that's a uh, collectible for Maple Farm. Yay me. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's where the ball spawns. So this is coming soon. Um, it is with Giants in testing at the moment. It is in its second round of testing at the moment. Um, yeah, when it's, when it's released, I'll add the link in to the video description. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, click the like button. Any comments, questions, or suggestions, stick them below. Thank you to patrons and YouTube channel members. Appreciate your support. Thank you to Cartech for pushing me to make this mod because I was kind of dragging my feet a little bit um, and when things got difficult, I stopped or I came up with crappy excuses. And also thank you for the help you gave me with testing it and fixing some issues. Uh, yeah, uh, coming soon.